guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2! And I'm in a good mood today, because we don't have to do this crap again! Yay! Okay, after doing that, you come in, you talk to this guy, and you ask about your calibration progress. You did it. You calibrated every last one of them. Top it off, you've been done with them perfectly. Basically, that means you didn't get any hits when you did it. Now, in order to get Samurai's Honor, you need to attempt all ten and successfully do at least five of them. Now, considering the first four and the sixth one, the first one in the north screen, are quite easy, this isn't all that difficult to get. You don't have to perfectly do all of them. The only reason I did is, well, one, depending on how you do on them, it affects, I think, the treasure chests you get in, uh, in Chapter 5, presumably the ones in the Thunder Plains, but um, for correctly doing the last completely ridiculous one that I don't know how I possibly would have done as a kid, well, you get something really nice for it in Chapter 5. Is it necessary? No. Is it nice to get? Yes. Um, by a certain point, it becomes completely obsolete and you don't need it anymore, but I at least want to show it off. I don't mind. Okay. Anyway, uh, you can just go and check here, figure out, you know, what your uh, your best records are. I'm just going to double check to make sure that I haven't unloaded a file where I'd done them all. And, yeah, of course, some of them, yeah, you've got multiple attempts. Uh, 30 on that one. Um, two on that one. A few on that one. Thing is, the actual amount of times I've attempted this one is way more than 30. Way more. But uh, we're, we're not, we're not going to deal with that. Absolutely not. Oh, uh, do you have anything new in here? Nothing! Okay. Let's get out of here. Can I, can I move? Thank you. So yeah, no more Thunder Planes for now. Um, make sure uh, the Chocobo we caught, I haven't recorded the post commentary for the end of the last episode so i may end up repeating a few things that are said there but uh, make sure that you've done the uh caught the chocobo it doesn't have to be now but it has to be before sometime in chapter three so there's that i'm no 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 more puns anyway with that being said, we can move on to the next quest. And I know I got the High Road Wind Garment Grid and the Alchemist Dress Sphere in a couple episodes back, and I haven't really gone over them yet. We don't really have anyone to fight right now, so we'll just hold off on those for a little bit. Next place I want to go is Moonflow. Now, Moonflow is, well probably going to be done in a very cutty manner. Let's talk to Toboy or Tobly or God I but wish I was watching the end up with an empty house that's like a full house with none of the people. I hate you. What do you say? Will you help me sell tickets that is? Sure. I'll cut the base price in half. Just sell, sell, sell for big, big profits. Mm, come on, Uni. Let's give it a shot. Why? Why do we have to do everything for everyone? Is everyone useless? Well, considering how poorly I did the mini games in the last game, never mind. I'm useless too. With the going to okay. charge, up for sure. Imagine the crowds. The rest is up to you. Sure thing. Now, the goal of this mission is to sell ten tickets. Now, the tickets that you are supposed to sell have a base price of five hundred gil. Now, that will change depending on how you did the uh, whatever the quest it was in chapter one with Tobley. Now, if you did certain things, it would be a thousand. Like if you didn't do the full uh, quest properly, the base price would be a thousand. You wouldn't be able to uh, get as much profit out of this. As you can see, the higher you sell, the more profits you get. Now, because this is basically just talking to people and because the only other thing we can do in the moon flow is just, you know, talk to people, you know, for their dialogue and for, um, whatever it is, the PR quest. I'm going to do this cut manner in the same way that we did uh, Besaid and whatever else we did. I have no idea. I haven't edited those episodes yet. Anyway. 
Okay, so the way that this works is there are 14 total people you can sell to. The amount that you can sell to each person is fixed, and the amount that you get from each person, uh, it'll always be the same. So we're trying to get as much money out of these people as possible. Now, I'm not showing the people that you don't get the best results from. I'm getting as much money as possible out of these guys and doing the PR stuff at the same time. So the people that I'm talking to and the answers I'm giving them are the best results that you can get from them. And so that's why I'm showing these particular ones off. Um, there's also a table that shows the rewards and such later on. Uh, I'll show them later on in the video there and it'll kind of make a little more sense there. But uh, depending on what you did in chapter one with uh, Tobley, if you didn't talk to him, then uh, the base price will be a thousand. You will only, you'll barely be able to get uh, over 5,000 uh, in profit. If you did talk to him and did the quest properly for 100%, then he only sells the tickets for 500 each and you can easily get over 10,000. You need to get over 10,000 in order to do the, uh, in order to get the percentage rating out of this area. So you want to make sure that you do that. Uh, let's see here. The uh, As far as the rewards go, the ones that we'll get by the end of this will be the best ones. Um, I'll show the table that shows the other people that you can talk to, if you so care for that. Also note that talking to the last guy here will automatically trigger the scene. So make sure you talk to that old lady first, since she does PR. But as soon as you talk to this guy, it fades right into the cutscene. Well, did you sell the tickets, I mean? You better believe it! Every last one. Splendid, simply splendid! Did you hear that, everybody? Oh, yes, oh, yes, before I forget. I've got to pay you your profits. Lastly, a little bonus for selling all the tickets. I guess it's worth trying anything. Yep, yep, it was an absolutely amicable arrangement. Everybody's happy! Oh, we're really looking forward to the show. Yeah, that, uh, that whole quest. Um, I might add some, yeah, you know what? I'm going to add some post commentary. Uh, do talk to him again until he does uh, dialogue boxes. Uh, some of the 100% glides believe that uh, you need to talk to him again. I always just try talking to him a couple times just to make sure. He's doing text boxes, so we're usually pretty good to go there. Uh, so I did all of the... Uh, PR stuff we can do. We can turn those off. Um, did all the PR stuff. We did all of the uh, the ticket selling stuff. As I was, as I'll probably say in the post commentary, you got to sell them all, uh, all ten, and you have to make a profit that exceeds ten thousand. Uh, the maximum you can get is twelve thousand five hundred, which is what I got there. So there we go. Um, the prizes you get are determined by uh, which, you know, how, what you've done. I will also include the box on screen somewhere around now uh, that explains all that stuff. Some of these, uh, the walkthroughs I've been using just have really convenient uh, boxes already laying out nice tables. So instead of me trying to explain everything, pop there, right there. All right. Now, in addition to that, let us move on to Luca. not a whole lot we can do in Luca, but there is more PR stuff to be done, of course. And in addition to that, there are some additional scenes out here. We're going to do the cutscenes first, and then, just like uh, with Moonflow, we're going to cut in all of the uh, correct answers to all of the, uh, the PR stuff that we can do, and any treasures that we can get, if that is, if there are more than just that one. What? Hello, and good afternoon, Luca. This is Shalinda bringing you all the latest news from throughout Spira. These days, everyone's talking about the groups battling throughout Spira for control of the spheres. Let's start with the Youth League. From its leader, Maven Nuge, on down, their ranks are made up mostly of former Crusaders. Fresh off its attack on Kilika Temple, the Youth League is sending shockwaves throughout Spira. Pairing off against them? 
is none other than New Yevon. All eyes were on them after the New Yevon chairman's sudden resignation. Chaos seemed inevitable. But their newly appointed leader, Praetor Berylai, has held them together with utmost finesse. Another group turning a lot of heads is the Machine Faction, an Albed organization. They've managed to distance themselves from the sphere struggle embroiling Spira. But their unmatched technological prowess could well be enough to dramatically shift the balance of power. And let's not forget the LeBlanc Syndicate, the gang with a style all its own. Headquartered at Chateau LeBlanc in Guadalajara, its agents span the globe. But lately, there's one group in particular that's been drawing all kinds of attention. That's right, the only group led by a high summoner, the Gold Wings! And now, here's today's special guest, High Summoner Yuna! Huh? Break up. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Lady Yuna, your concert the other day was nothing short of spectacular. Well, it was sort of me up there. But not exactly. Puzzling words, to be sure. And speaking of puzzling, why the sudden career change to spear hunting? It sounds like you caused quite a stir with that disappearing act you pulled on Besaid. And I'm very sorry about that. Rumor has it you left the island looking for clues about a certain young man. Anything you can share with us? How the hell do they know this? Th th this game is weird. Um... I don't think it really matters. Um, Very hush hush. But we'll Sounds keep it secret. Sure, why not? It's a long story. I'm sure it is. One can only imagine the fascinating tales that led to you becoming the leader of the Gold Wings. Uh oh. Hold it right there. I'm the leader. Me. Gold Wings, we rock you. Whoa. This thing on? Uh oh. It's keeping two morons right now. Yeah. This is just a toy compared to the things I've invented. I don't like Tell you, us, Shinra. Is it true that the Gullwings have thrown their support behind the Youth League? That statement is kind of true, but not really. No! Uh, we don't want to get caught up in other people's problems. So many questions left to ask, but I'm afraid we're out of time. You're what a horrible interviewer. High Summoner Yuna and the Gold Wings. Not this bad. game sucks. You should have joined in too. <laughs> yeah, it was more fun watching. Lady it's a train Yuna, wreck. Great interview. Thank you so much for helping me out. This isn't much, but consider it a token of my gratitude. Covetous garment so, grid. How long have you been doing this? Well, after the calm came, the temples were in decline. At first, I thought the best thing I could do would be to help the temples get back on their feet. But everyone just ordered me around. I got tired of it. You couldn't just tell them no? Neither can That's you. That's the part of me I wanted to change. I made up my mind to leave the temple and come here to Luca. They needed people for this, and they asked me to help. So, here I am. Another job you were asked to do? I suppose nothing about me has really changed after all. You or Yuna? Uh, I gotta run. Mm, my next assignment is about to start. See you later, Lady Yuna. She complains, but you can tell she enjoys it. Hmm, sounds a bit like Yuni, don't you think? Really? I'm not the only one to see those connections, am I? Dr. B, care to give us your opinion? The hardest person to know is yourself. Hey, cut that out. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is for that. Um, strange cutscenes aside, um, let's have fun! PR time!
Okay, we're all finished with that. Uh, there's nothing else we can do here. There are no treasure chests to get. So assuming we've done everything right now, we should have gained another full percentage from doing those two quests. Uh, let's see, I think I wanted to hold on to that 30%. So yeah, we'll go to that one. And 34%. Now, do note that if you screw up the ticket selling one, you'll still get 34%, but you won't get what is known as episode complete later on. So just be aware of that. Make sure you've sold. I think it's over 10,000. I got over 10,000 in profit uh, and did all that stuff right when it comes to selling the tickets. One final thing I want to set up before the end of the episode here which I have no idea how long it's going to be since I don't know how long I spent uh, in all that stuff that goes off screen. But uh, now is as good a time as any to finish uh, paying off Awaka's debt. Now, welcome. according to the walkthroughs, um, the best deal is to buy the Phoenix Downs and resell them. But that takes too long, so I just buy everything and then resell everything over to what's his pickle over there and uh basically buy everything sell everything and i should have enough from doing all of this i think there we go he's all paid off oh, oh. now i can finally go back to me shop so long thanks for everything not exactly a proper thanks now, is it? No, not really. I think I'll keep doing business here for a bit at a tremendous discount, of course. And he's not kidding about that tremendous discount. Let's go and uh, sell the things. Yeah, I put the uh, those things there just to make my life easier. All right. Uh, I got 99. Anything you've got 99 of, sell all of them. Well, anything that you buy from the shops there. Okay. Go screen. Holy water. And anything else somewhere down the line? Potion. There we go. It's always something else. And now, hey. shut up. Now what I'll do is I'll go into sort, manual sort, and what we're going to do is we're going to move everything down so that all of the items that I'm going to be uh, purchasing back end up going at the top. Now I could just auto sort this uh, in a little bit here, can't remember if it's 8 or 10 items, so we'll just drop these down here for now, should be good. It Welcome just makes my life easier. Us. But anyway, now he sells everything at a tremendous discount. So you can max out on everything and then resell them all to uh, Barkeep over there and make yourself a profit. Now, considering we got a whole bunch of money and then basically had to give it all away to Awaka to pay off his debt, I think he owes me a little bit of money. So I'm going to put him back into debt and basically cycle through what? this over and 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 over again because it's the best way of getting money for quite some time. And even though we don't need money now, eventually I'll probably want it later. Not to mention I want to put myself in a good situation if it turns out that I have to do a whole bunch of bribing later in the game, which I know I haven't really gone over very much. But uh, a lot of the uh, super bosses may benefit from being able to do that. So basically, in between episodes, I go here, I buy, I sell, and then when we come back, I will have a whole whack ton more money. Anyway, so that should be all we need to do to get ourselves up to 34%, which we did. Finished up another couple of areas. We don't have to go back to the Thunder Plains for a long time, and when we do, we don't have to deal with what stupid crap. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all for this one. And next time, we'll continue on with whatever the next quest is, and I have no idea what the hell that is off the top of my head because I'm too busy selling things and making a whole bunch of money. And as you can see by the amount of money I have now, I've got almost as much as I did when we began that, uh, or 
when we got the money from that quest that uh, gave us 90,000 all right in one go. So not too bad. I'm gonna get a bunch more, probably a couple hundred thousand at least. And yeah, that's all for this one. Thank you. See you guys next time.